but we're thinking snow right now. Yes, we are. <laughs> want to show you, first of all, a beautiful shot. Pikes Peak is down there in the center of the screen, but look at the clouds down from our camera and Elizabeth. This will be a very different view coming up in the next 24 to 36 hours, as they could see about six to eight inches of snow down in Elizabeth from this storm. Tomorrow morning, the roads are dry. Okay, 41 at 7 a.m., 44 by 9 a.m., 49 by 11 a.m. That will change later in the day and certainly by Thursday morning. High today was 64, 23 was the low. The normals are 63 and 35. And right now, it's still pretty mild. 57 downtown, 56 at the airport. Pressure falling. Winds a bit gusty from the west-northwest. There's the storm off to the north of us. That cold front sliding closer to Colorado tonight. As it moves our way, we'll have generally clear skies to the south, colder out of the north, rain and snow developing with the front. There may be a little bit of moisture by early tomorrow morning up across northern Colorado and southwestern Nebraska, but generally we start the day partly cloudy and the morning low at 37 for Denver, Greeley, Fort Collins, 22 in Leadville across the front range. We'll see those lows upper 30s to low 40s at lower elevations, upper 20s to low 30s in the mountains. A few flurries up there. But dry roads, I-25, I-70, 76, not much to worry about until the front roars through here about midday with windy and colder conditions coming in. Snow starting to develop to the north and then late in the afternoon, it's snow and rain showers by the evening commute. I think the road's just wet, except maybe a little bit slick up in some of the higher elevations to the southwest of Denver. Tomorrow will still be mild and dry over western Colorado, 60 at Pagosa and Durango, Montrose 63 at Grand Junction. We're 53 here, 37 up at Laramie and along the front range, a fairly mild day for tomorrow. Tonight's forecast 37 partly cloudy for tomorrow will be dry in the morning. Showers develop late in the afternoon, changing to snow in the evening. 53 for a high temperature. This is what the snowfall looks like. Let me step out of the way so we got your location through about 9 a.m. on Thursday. So far heavier to the west and south of Denver than it will be farther to the north. Here's the extended forecast. Thursday morning's the trouble time. That's when we have our worst weather conditions. Temperatures will be in the low 20s with snow, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., but partly cloudy skies will be returning by the time we get to 11 a.m. as this is a fast-moving storm. By Friday, it's back to 58. By Saturday, temperature gets to 65. But then Sunday, some rain and snow returns, and it stays chilly next week and perhaps downright cold by the time we get to Halloween.